What I'm about to do is a little bit of a review on uh, passing parameters to functions and uh, I cover this quite a bit and I go over it a few times in these videos. It is one of the things that students uh, hesitate to do or they, they put off um, using parameters and you shouldn't. You should try to get as used to them as you possibly can. Uh, what I'm going to illustrate today is the idea of uh, passing multiple parameters by value. Now there are passed by value, passed by reference, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to write a little routine, and we're going to say void. It's a uh, not returning value, but try to change them. It's the name of the routine. We're going to pass three things. We're going to pass an int i. We're going to pass a double d, and we're going to pass a character c. And we'll just go ahead and say a boolean. Uh, B. We'll pass three things. We'll put the semicolon right there. There is our uh, prototype of our function. And uh, then here in our main routine, where we're going to call it, we're going to go ahead and declare um, a couple of uh, an integer, double character, and boolean. We're going to say an integer, and uh, we'll call it A integer, and we'll initialize it to 10. We'll uh, declare a double, and we'll call it a double. We'll initialize it to also 10. Uh, character, uh, we will say a a car, and we will initialize it to t. Okay. And a boolean bool, a bool, and we will initialize it to true. Now, uh, the routine that we're going to call is we're going to actually try to call it. Let's go ahead and write it first before we call it. To write it, well, we're going to go up here to our prototype and make a copy of it. We'll do a control C, go down to the end of our program and paste it. We will take off the semicolon and replace that with a left and right curly brackets. There is our routine. So in there, what we're going to do is we're going to try to give I, D, C, and B new values. Now the idea of passing them the value means that I'm just passing a copy. So anything change I make inside this routine will not be seen in the called routine that passes values to them. So I'm going to say I'm going to try to change i to 100. I'm also going to try to change d to also 100. I'm going to try to change the key uh, character to an uppercase t. And I will try to change the boolean to false. Okay. Now let's call it. So we're going to call, uh, try to change it. The call, we leave off the void and we just say try to change them. And I'm going to pass uh, uh, a integer, a double, spell it right, double, a car, and a boo. Very good. Semicolon. Now we're just going to try to see. Uh, we're going to try to print them out. We're going to say C out, and we're going to print out uh, a integer, and we'll print out a double, a character, and a bool. Now a bool um, is going to print out uh, as a number, probably one or zero, depending on if it's uh, true or false. And um, let me let me do this correctly. Excuse me. Got a little carried away. A double, a character, and a bool. Now while I'm here, I, I'll just go ahead and put some spaces in here, or uh, I could I could put spaces, or I could use set with. But we'll just put in a space, and then we'll go over here and put in a space, uh, and then we'll go over here and put in a space, and go on the next line. And that should be good enough. All right, very good. Well, let's save it. Let's see if we get any syntax errors. Looks okay. All right, so here's the idea. I'm declared a function. We call it try to change them. Trying, okay. And I'm passing the variables by value, which means without passing a, a reference to an address, I'm making a copy of the values and passing them to the routine. So when we get to the room down here and I try to change them, it's a local copy that's being changed. The originals should go unchanged. So once I get back from this routine, 
Okay. Try to change values. What I should see is I should see a integer b10, a double b10. The uh, character uh, should be uh, unaltered. Uh, it should be lowercase t and boolean should be true, which should be a positive one. Let's try this. Let's build it. Okay. No errors. Let's debug. And there we have it. 10, 10, true, and 1. So it didn't get changed. That is an example of pass by value, pass by value. It's a very common way to pass parameters. You want to pass a copy in there to work with the copy. You want to leave the original unaltered. Alright, now the next video we're going to do is we're going to pass by reference. Passing by reference means we're giving the routine an address of the actual location of the thing we want to work with, which means we're giving it permission to change it. So next uh, video, pass by reference. Okay, on to that one.